Hello everybody, this is Stranger Gaming, we're back for the first round of Group E matches for my tournament. And yes, we're finally getting to the bottom groups. Give these guys their time in the spotlight. And in these matches, we will see Primal Cartman going up against Lanzu. Nano Hunter 5000 against Dark Ash Star. And Team North America going up against Aladar. So without further ado, let's get on with the first match. And sorry if I keep scrolling. Alrighty then, up first in the red corner for Cartman, we have a Spinosaurus, of course. Um, not much to say here, Spinosaurus, decent gold dinosaur. Pretty much gone for all attacking moves, but fair enough. Definitely going for quick kills here, Cartman, but we'll just have to see if that pays off. But, in the blue corner, we have a Lanzusaurus from Lanzu. We've got to have a Lanzusaurus if you call Lanzu, can't we? And yes, this is the team I, I hope to draw against in the group stage, because I know my Mega Raptor will play clean house, but... Oh well, never mind. And wow, that's super impressive. It's quite powerful. So definitely not one to be trifled with, with this Lancy Sauce. One to watch, you think. One to watch. Oop, we start with the top. I think that was... Yeah, I think the Spino will be happier with that. Than the so yeah, this we could be in for a quick match here because both of these dinosaurs are more attack-minded than more technique. A big foot assault from the Lanzusaurus there. He's gonna smush the Spinosaurus into pulp. Oof. Now, why is the sound doing that? It's annoying. Stop it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why the sound's doing that. I don't know why it's happening, but hold on. Ooh, the Lanthusaurus does get off another hit. And it's an egg attack this time. Lanzu well on top early on, and the Spinosaurus not looking too good. Oh my goodness, and a big foot assault from Lanthusaurus is going to KO the Spino. Um, not a good, not a good start from Cartman. But I wouldn't be too concerned because looking at the future matches in the group stage, I still think, I think Cartman will get out the group. Has a good chance at it anyway. Anyway, as for Cartman up next, we have a real Carcharian. Not anything special, just a normal, generic, stone cold eel Carcharian. And again, more attack minded moves set here with Magma Blaster and the Blazing Spin and Flare Sword, because you always got out a Flare Sword on Eel Carcharian. It'd be a crime to have anything else as a typical move. Oh, oh. <laughs> Sorry, I can just hear the dog barking. Ooh, the Eel Carcharian. Getting things off. Well, um, getting a crit right off the bat. And Primal Cartman finally putting up a fight. But not for long because the Lanzusaurus retaliates with an egg attack. Who actually came up with that move is hilarious. Uh, not too much damage done to heal here. But again, Lanzusaurus has, is one of those dinosaurs that has significantly more power in its crit. Whereas Eocarp here is a very balanced dog. Anyway, speaking of crit, here comes a super impact and this might be lethal for Eocarp here. Oh, almost lethal for Eocarp here and Lanzu so close to taking a 2 0 lead. Oh, Cartman, you need to pull your finger out here. Okay, that's a tie. I mean, he's going to take Lanzasaurus' HP down in the red, but the Eocarc area goes down. And Primal Cartman is down to a third dinosaur. So a dinosaur at the end, a crowd of the sort. Uh, quite a lot of these buggers in this tournament. I mean, is it really that good of a super dinosaur? Well, it has very balanced attacks. I mean, this crit doesn't do that much more damage than this other two moves, so maybe it is, but... I think it was secret with 1000 tech, because you can, you can vary their movesets a bit better than you can with Cryo. But, Cryo does have better attacks, so... It's a toss-up, really. And that attack, I think, is going to finish off Lanzusaurus. 
However, I think it's safe to say Lanzu Saurus has served his purpose already. Okay, up next for Lanzu, we have yet another grass dinosaur, the Edmontosaurus. And actually, looking at all the number of different dinosaurs, having a grass dinosaur is actually not a bad idea, because a lot of people avoid using wind dinosaurs because there's a huge goal for fire dinosaurs in the tournament. I mean, I use Mega Raptor because I'm a big dinosaur, I've got to use it. <laughs> but you know, it's not many wind dinosaurs, so having a grass team is not the worst idea. But Lanzu is still in a strong position here to take a win against Primal Cup. <laughs> it's... I am struggling to say Primal Carnage because I keep wanting to say Primal Carnage. Anyway, the crowd of Asaurus looking pretty good so far. The secret move there, Blizzard Smash, has been triggered. No, oh, it's a tie. I haven't forgot Edmund Asaurus' moveset, what is it? Okay, more healing moveset. Oh, that's, oh, that's alright. <laughs> I didn't click the sign in time, but it doesn't matter because Primal Carpet is going to win that exchange anyway. Well, it would pay for anyway. <laughs> and there's the Blizzard Smash on the crowd. And it will probably take out the Edmontosaurus. Yep, and Edmontosaurus goes down him. Wow, Primal Carpet is definitely fighting back here. Coming back strong against Lanzu. Don't give Lanzusaurus and Edmontosaurus. Ed Ed Mantis Edmontosaurus with... Well, but, last but not least for Lanzu, we have a Super Titanosaurus, and his Awaken Mode will be on free. Watch out for that Hydro Cut. Could cut the Cryo down to seconds. Ooh, first hit goes to Super Titanosaurus. Okay, that's once. Ooh, but the Frozen Glide has been triggered. And the Crowd of... <coughs> and the Crowd of Asaurus will get it off. And all of a sudden... <laughs> what looked like a certain defeat for Primal Cartman could in fact turn out to be a win. Ooh, that's a tie. I think this... No, 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 Super Titanosaurus. And another tie, but that will suit the cryo more because it does have more HP. Oh, it's gonna be game over for Lanzu as Primal Cartman completes a come from behind victory and claiming three points. But it's not all doom and gloom for Lanzu for the impressive efforts, and because Cryolophosaurus's HP is below half, Lanzu will get a losing bonus point, and that could be crucial. But a very impressive comeback from Primal Cartman will give her the three points. Yeah, very, very good. The Cryo was definitely, definitely the MVP of the team. I mean, Eocarcaria and Spino sucked, but the Cryo did well. Anyway, I'll update the table and we'll move on to our next match. Alrighty then, our next matchup sees Nano Hunter 5000 taking on Dark Ash Star. And at first for Nano Hunter, we have a Simo Tyrannus. Interesting thing, this dinosaur. It's, it doesn't have any super moves. But could that come to bite Nano Hunter in the ass, or could it be useful? We'll have to find out. In the blue corner, however, for Dark Ash Star, we have an Alberta Ceratops. People seem to like using this guy for some reason. And this dinosaur indeed does have super moves. Watch out for that counter blitz. Could do some damage there. And of course, Thunder Driver is always there. And Plasma Anchor could activate if it's a tower. Oh, I mean, this guy's moves are weird. You got like Defense Boost, Alpha Dice, and Light Recovery. <laughs> But it might work, and yeah, more damage done to our bird Ceratops, because I think this Samo Tyrannus is charged up. So it that means it does more damage to you, your opponent, in a tie. Ooh, not much damage done by the our bird Ceratops though. But the Thunder Driver has been triggered. Ooh, but the our bird Ceratops getting off that crit, dealing much more damage to our bird Samo Tyrannus, and put its health in the red. Ooh, but the Samo Tyrannus strikes back with a crit, 
and the Crowlithosaurus comes in with light recovery and the defense boost activates. Although I don't know if it's going to help Simultanus now, but it might, you never know. Oop, that's a tie. A uh, good match so far, good match. Mm, but the Albert the Ceratops does get off a hit. Could it kill Samadrys? Nope. That's because his other two signs are quite weak compared to his crit. Oh, oops, oops, I kicked off it. <laughs> Oopsie. Ooh, that's a tie. That won't that will suit Samadrys, but another tie. And it will end Samadrys' dickens. And RNG is being an ass. Come on, RNG. Give us something good. Hang on, is my internet dead? No, I mean, that's fine. A six or scissors? Okay, so Alberta Ceratops is gonna win. Alberta Ceratops, after a moment of madness from the RNG, has taken out the Sigma Tyrannus. But his HD is in the red. This has just reminded me that this Alpha Rhinus is a super dinosaur. Okay. What is it? It is Nano Hunter. Nano Hunter wants the awake mode activated on three. Okay, so that's three for Alpha Rhinus and Dark Ash that has super powers. So, that's five. Which is quite long. Ooh, yeah, the Ceratops though. It's it's Dark Ash Star starting to turn the screw on this match. Oh, that's tight. And that is yet another tie. Ooh, the Alberta Ceratops almost going down. And in fact, is going down. But the Ulti Rhinus' health is below half. So, Nano Hunter is not in the best spot. Up next for Dark Ash Star, we have a Super Powers. One of two Super Powers is in this tournament. This one is quite an interesting moveset. That move block could be, in, could be an interesting move move block. Green Impulse could activate and Fawn Whip is pretty good as well. But definitely more technical than attacking the front powers. Okay, now we've lost track. So two more for Ultra Minus and five more. Oh, that's another tie. Oh, finally someone gets a hit and it's super powers. And I think, oh, the Ulti Rhinus always goes down. One more than from the Ulti Rhinus and it's awakening time. But will it survive? The quite answer is no. And Paris taking down Ulti Rhinus and leaving Nano Hunter down to his last dino. And that dino being the Super Minus. Um, quite a weird one to put in third, but oh well. That Futaba Cannon could do a lot of damage, but Super Minus's damage output for its crit is quite low actually. I mean, it's more balanced than high crit. It's, it's quite balanced with Super Minus. Oh my goodness, Paris is getting ahead, and Trodon coming in for move block, which will nullify all of Super Minus's moves. That's twice. Yep, all of Super Minus's moves are gone. But that doesn't stop the Super Minus from getting ahead. Okay, two more, and it's awakening time for Paris. Oh, the Trolldons are back! <laughs> and no phone with them! Ooh, the Super Minus gets the hit on Paris! But next round for Paris, it will be awakening time! This could be key! Ooh, the Super Minus! Gets the hit on Super Paris, denying the awakened mode there, and Futaba Cannon has been triggered. Could that be a turning point? Has this match just swung? 
the Super Mimus coming in with a V-Tower Cannon to finish off Super Paris. Could that be a two? Because up next for Dark Ashstar, we have a Black T-Rex. The only Black T-Rex in this tournament, interestingly enough. Uh, well, I'm not really sure what Heat Eruption is going to do, considering Black T-Rex only has 200 technique, which is, which, which is rubbish. Although Burning Dash could do a lot of damage and Light Recovery could come in handy. Wow, look how huge Black T-Rex is compared to Super Mimus. Oh, I think that's game over for Super Mimus. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah I thought it was a hard one. Nope. Game over for Sukumimus, game over for Nano Hunter, and Dark Ash Star comes in with Black T Rex to finish off the match and take three lovely juicy points. Um, yeah, not not much to say about that match really. A good effort by Nano Hunter in the end, but left himself too much to do. Right, we'll update the table and we'll move on to our final match. Alrighty then, on to our third and final match of Group E, and this is quite an interesting match, one I'm quite looking forward to because we have. Team North America going up against Aladar. An up threat first for Team North America, we have Ainiosaurus. Um, quite interesting, we'll say. You've got Archaeopteryx Charm, could that be useful? And yeah, the dive move is always pretty good at lightning active lightning. But it's gonna be tough, because in the blue corner, for Aladar, we have the Earth type Central Rower. We'll have to type advantage over that Ainiosaurus. Could that be crucial? <laughs> Yeah, we weren't looking forward to this matchup because Team North America's third dinosaur is Brunta and Aladar's first dinosaur is Eocarcaria, the armoured version. That matchup in the end could be key to deciding who wins this matchup and who loses. Ooh, a good start from Team North America as Ainosaurus gets the first hit and deals an arsenal of damage to Centaurus. So much for tight advantage. <laughs> And the Anguera died there, shaking off even more pain. Strong start from Team North America. But the Central Aris answers back with an earthquake. A fast and furious start from both competitors. And this is going to do a lot of damage. Oh, almost killed it, almost killed it. <laughs> if only Archaeopteryx charm had activated it. Ooh, I think the Decentral Rowers though is going to finish off Inosaurus and, and bring in Team Amer North America's second dinosaur, the Ankylosaurus. Always like this guy. Beware of that rock roller, it could do a lot of damage. And with Galley Rush and Giga Rock Hammer, this Ankylosaurus is not to be trifled with. But can it stop the Decentral Rowers? Ooh, not like that, not like that. The Center Aura strikes first. But not too much damage. Oh, it's not Giggle Rock Hammer, sorry, it's Crystal Crusher. Oh, well, Crystal Crusher has been triggered. And has been activated. The Ankylosaurus striking back. Oh, he took him out. Nice. Nice from Team North America there, as the Decentaurus goes down. And as for Alador's second dinosaur, we have the Super Opus Acelacordia. The Awaken will be activated on the third appearance. Uh, interesting moveset there, not too much power, definitely gone for more technique than power here. But will that be enough to beat the Ankylosaurus? Oh, Team North America continue to get slap. Although they are losing, I should say. Ooh, the super thing got the first hit there, doing a decent amount of damage to the Ankylosaurus, and the shockwave activating there to nullify one of Ankylosaurus's moves. Okay, okay so what that means? The thing will be going for a crit. Nope, can't go for war. Okay. That's a crit hit from the Opithus, the Opithus Coordia. Not too much damage dealt, but 
I think this guy's attack is more balanced than other guys. Okay, one more time, and it'll be awakening time. And like before, we gotta go with the scissors. Ooh, I think that's Kurt and Frank Kylosaurus. And next round, it will be awakening time for Epiphasy Lacordia. But, up next for Team North America, the MVP of the team, we have the Brought Kings. With all the fire dinosaurs running around and eel carcarians, I thought it'd be fitting to chuck Brontokins in the tournament. <laughs> Just to give them something to think about. But, can it take out this appears to see Lacordia? Please take it out so I don't have to say it over and over. Ooh, yes, it's a pit. That's good for the Brontokins, and I think that's defense first after making as well, so that'll be good. Can be very handy next round because it will be awakening time. The vortex gets triggered. Oh, you think the Celacordia getting off the head? Wow, that's really weak. Well, for awaken mode, that's really bad, but that's a defense burst for you. Brontekin's not taking too much damage. Oh, that's a tie. Oh, the ocean panic from a pit of Celacordia has been activated. Uh, both of these guys have ocean panic. But, but um, Aladars is activated before Brontekin's. And one of the moves has once again been nullified, which means this a pit of Celacordia will probably not die this week. Well, it always seems to be rock. Ooh, that's a crit, and I think it's going to be a bonus point win for Aladar. <laughs> oh, paper's been nullified this time, so it'll be rock for a piece of Celacordia. Yep, that's a bonus point win for Aladar. It's Brontokins. Oh, it's not dead. But, yet yeah, another Shockwave going Wow, Like, Shockwave is like really OP on this thing. <laughs> We're gonna ban shot wave on a pit of sealer for you, it's too OP. Yep, yeah, that's game over for the Brontokins. And your pit of sealer for you, defeats Brontokins and claims a bonus point win for Aladar over Team North America. Wow, the Eokakira wasn't even needed. Very impressive that a pit of sealer for you, definitely a joker in the team. Aladar could be one to watch this tournament. Of course, it did help that he kept getting off hits, so... Of course, all he needed was one hit and then he'd have the advantage, so... Yeah, it's interesting, interesting. Anyway, let's update the table and I'll end the session. Um, not much to say, really. Aladar, again, very impressive in that opening... In that bonus point win over Team North America. Uh, Primal Cartman was pretty good in that very good comeback from Cartman to take the win over Lanzu, but Lanzu did get that losing bonus point, which could be crucial. And Dark Ashtar was quite impressive over Nano Hunter. Uh, yeah, let's see who's playing next. So six against four, that'll be... Ooh, Dark Ashtar going up against Team North America. Lanzu taking on Aladar, that could be a big match. And Primal Cartman going up against Nano Hunter. Ooh, that could be interesting. I'd say a good chance for these three. I'd say definitely a good chance for these three to... Open up a gap on the bottom. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this session, and I'll see you next time where we'll kick off Group F's matches. And this is Strange Gamer signing out.